Jason, thank you. Uh, we've been talking about skin exposure, and if you go outside, maybe for a few minutes, get back in. Firefighters can't do that. You know, you have a fire going, you can't go inside the truck for 10 minutes and let the thing burn. It's a problem. Yeah, it is, and, and they certainly are working overtime right now with everything that's going on. So many accidents they're responding to and, and so many other emergencies. Let's check in with Kevin Robinson to see what we're facing here the next couple of days. You know, you walk out, it's really deceptive, right? Because for the first minute, you really don't feel it, right? And then like all of a sudden it hits you like a wall. And you're like, oh, it is really cold out here. And that's basically, I think, everyone's response because we're dealing with life-threatening cold across the area. Unfortunately, that's going to continue into Christmas Eve, right? Here's what it feels like temperatures right now. Officially here in Cincinnati, it feels like it is 26 degrees below zero. Now, if you slept through last night's historic storm, it was worse earlier this morning. I'll show you that here in just a moment. But let's talk about currently as it stands, wind chills range anywhere from 15 to almost 30 degrees below zero out there. So it is just wicked cold across the area in and around the metro for the most part. 20 to 25 degrees below zero is how it feels right now. So a memorable historic storm. I think both of those apply here, right? We had almost a 40 degree temperature drop last night in six hours. We set a record for that, right? At eight o'clock, we were 41. By 2 a.m., we were down to two here in Cincinnati. But that's not all. Check out these snowfall totals, right? Widespread two to four. We were thinking someone may top out around five. We ended up with 5.2 officially here in Cincinnati. A little hard to measure in a lot of locations because the wind really whipped around that snow quite a bit. So indeed, a historic storm. Our first blizzard in many years around here since 78. We had the record drop in temperatures. And this is what I was speaking to just a minute ago. If you were up early this morning, the coldest wind chill since January of 1994. So coldest wind chills in decades. It felt like it was mighty thir minus 36 first thing this morning. Here's a live look at the suspension bridge. You can still see those west winds driving the Ohio River. And if you look closely, you can still see some of that river steam too out there on the Ohio because of the cold. Officially, it's three below. Sustained winds are at 20 miles per hour. Everyone's below zero, right? Ranging from two below in Springboro, Mason's a degree below, three below in Versailles, four below in Batesville, around the 275 loop. Most of us are a handful of degrees in the negatives right now, just below zero. And that's where we're going to stay through the rest of the night tonight. Temperatures remain below zero with feels like temperatures that are expected to stay anywhere from 20 to 30 below through the night. So the life threatening cold will still be here when you wake up tomorrow morning. The roads are bad now. I don't expect much in the way of improvements overnight. I do think they get better tomorrow, though, because temperatures will at least top out around 10. There may even be a glimpse at the sun, although I still think it's mostly cloudy. Here's your feels like temperatures. Let me just walk you through into your Christmas Eve. Wind chills stay dangerously low tomorrow. They'll still be 10 to 15 degrees below zero throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, 5 to 10 below zero. And then as you wake up on Christmas Day morning, wind chills are still running, you know, 10 to 15 degrees below zero for us. So if the little one gets a new bike, you know, a new car, anything like that, they're not taking it outside on Christmas Day. Finally, I do think early afternoon on Christmas Day, it will finally feel like it's finally above freezing. The good news is that the weather itself is actually pretty quiet. Aside from the cold, we stay mostly cloudy tomorrow. There could be a flurry or snow shower, but finally on Christmas Day after a cloudy start, we'll gradually work our way into some sunshine, I think, by afternoon. Hence, we'll climb out of the deep freeze. Two below tonight, it will feel like it's 20 to 30 below. Tomorrow, 10 to 20 below is what it feels like with a high of about 10. And again, there could be a few more flurries and snow showers. But before you get excited about these temperatures going up in the right direction, uh, Christmas Day is quiet, but I'm already watching our next snowmaker, and this looks to bring at least a light accumulation to the area starting Monday morning. Another little clipper drops in with snow, so it's a weather impact day. But then look at those temperatures, Mike and Cherie. After Monday and Tuesday, we may make it almost to 60 within two days before the end of next week. Time for New Year's at least. Well, yeah, at least we have something to look forward to. <laughs> All right.